going on Alex Bros? It's Mr. C here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve a logarithmic, logarithmic equation by rewriting. Alright, so with this strategy, you need to have your log equation in a particular format, much like the one-to-one -one property. Um, notice in the box here, it's not log equal to a log this time. Rather, we have log base A of M equaling N. So we're not really allowed to set M equal to N since the right-hand side no longer has log base A. Here's what you're going to do instead. If your equation looks like this at some point, then you're just going to use a log loop to convert it to exponential format, aka rewriting. So if log base A of M is equal to N, then that's equivalent to saying that A to the power of N is equal to the argument M. And you notice a couple of things. The first being that it's rewritten. Um, the second thing, that there's no more log. And that's usually the idea. All right? We're not really allowed to divide each side by log base A. Um, that would be the equivalent of dividing by F in function notation. All right? Log base A is simply notation. It's not a variable that we're necessarily allowed to manipulate as such. All right, so with that said, we'll go ahead and solve three log equations by rewriting. Let's start with equation one. We have log base three, and in the argument, it's three x minus one, and that log right there is equal to two. Notice that the right-hand side does not have log base three, so we are not allowed to set three x minus one equal to two. What we are allowed to do, though, is use a log loop to rewrite this as three to the power of two, is equal to 3x minus 1. And just like that, we're actually in familiar territory, uh, specifically linear equation territory. So we'll just go ahead and solve this. You know, business as usual. I recommend squaring the 3 to get 9 equals 3x minus 1. So add 1 to both sides to get 10 is equal to 3x. And of course, divide each side by 3. And you get x is equal to 10 thirds. All right, if you were to plug that back into the original equation, you'd see that the left-hand side becomes log base 3 of 9. And log base 3 of 9 is exactly equal to 2 because the power of 3 that gives you 9 is 2. All right, let's go ahead and solve another one. Problem 2 says log of 2x is equal to 1. Again, the right-hand side does not have the log notation, so we're not going to set 2x equal to 1. Before doing the log loop, uh, let's remind ourselves that when a log is written without any base attached with it, uh, there actually is a base. In this case, we have a log base 10. So this is a common log that's involved in our equation. So it might behoove us to just remind ourselves that log of 2x really means log base 10 of 2x is equal to 1. I recommend doing that because it helps with rewriting via the log loop. So with that said, let's go ahead and rewrite this via a log loop to get 10 to the first is equal to 2x. The log notation is gone and we're back in familiar territory uh, with a linear equation. So 10 to the first is 10, it's equal to 2x. We'll go ahead and divide both sides by 2. And just like that, we get our answer of x equals 5. Moving on to the last example, we have the natural log of x is equal to 5. And much like we rewrote log of 2x as log base 10 of 2x, let's rewrite this natural log as log base e of x is equal to 5. Applying our log loop, we'd have e to the fifth is equal to x. And look at that. x is automatically solved for just by rewriting via a log loop. So e to the fifth would be our answer. That would be considered an exact answer because it hasn't been typed out. But of course, if we wanted to type it out, we could do so in our graphing calculator, and we'd round it to approximately uh, two decimal places. 
All right, I'll leave that up to you, okay? All right, well, thanks for watching this video. Please let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.